All right, I'm updating on my uh, exhaust back pressure valve delete. I uh, just wanted to show what it looks like once you get this other piece on your turbo. You can see it's uh, nice and open now. Piece bolts right on. Like I said, make sure you get a good hold of these bolts. Some people strip them. Um, you don't have to, but I, uh, or according to Ford, it doesn't take any kind of sealant between these two pieces. It's kind of a machined uh, surface on both sides, but I got some high heat um, silicone, and I just put a very, very thin layer on it and uh, cleaned any axis on the inside. Uh, I mean, there's nothing after this, so if any of it does come off, it's just going to go out the tailpipe, so um, getting everything kind of cleaned up so I can start putting stuff back in, put the pedestal, the new pedestal back in, so. <clears throat> Alrighty. Alright, got our pedestal back in, everything clean. Two O-rings down on the back, on the bottom, and then two O-rings right there on top. Um, I'm going to wait until I put everything back together to wash out my engine, wash off all the oil that I uh, collected in the valley and stuff. don't really want that going in the engine and stuff, so. Uh, now, just... Time to set the turbo back in. Pretty close. That part, that Y can move around a little bit to be able to get it all the way up and sealed. That lines up pretty good too. So now I just gotta tighten up those bolts. Put the exhaust clamps back on. And then slowly reverse the process. Okay. Alright. Got the turbo tightened up. I got the back exhaust clamp put on. That exhaust clamp can be kind of a pain in the butt to put in, even to get out. But you gotta see this right here. Where this is right there. You gotta you want it like that on the back one, back this, not all the way to the edge right here. And then you gotta kind of spread it just a little bit, and then you I'm gonna go on the back side and kind of swoop it in. And you pop it up, and then once you get it popped up, all you gotta do is you just do this and pull it. I like guess it's kind of hard to do with one hand. You pull it, and then you do this. Once you do that, then you can just tighten it up on the back. Make sure you get it nice and tight. I mean, don't go too tight. These things, nuts right here, strip out if you go a little, if you go too tight. But this is the one on the the one that goes right there. But it's the same exact clamp. Just this one's a little bit bigger. Same design though. Put that one on and keep on going. All right. It's almost all put back together. I just got a couple intake pipes 
Also, I wanted to uh, say once you're in here, there's uh, also a couple other things you could do, like the intake pipe or the intercooler pipe that goes from the turbo to the intercooler. Uh, a lot of these 7.3s, it's wrapped with a uh, foil. You can um, do a foil delete, which is just taking the foil off the pipe and then cleaning it up. I'm actually going to do mine. You can see. All you do is just rip all this aluminum off. It's just there for sound control doesn't really need it you might hear your turbo spool up a little bit more as long as you don't mind the noise but it'll look a lot cleaner okay all right got my uh, driver's side intercooler pipe mostly cleaned up ripped all the aluminum off the aluminum foil and then I uh, used one of these push blade scrapers and just kind of did that I got the rest of the um, insulation off. Just a little bit of glue left, but I'm sure you could just rub it off with a some uh, brake clean or uh, possibly even some sandpaper, just really lightly. I'm actually kind of thinking of painting my pipes, this one and the other one, make it match my uh, hood or uh, engine cover. All right, finally got her done. That's what she looks all done. I did uh, the exhaust back pressure valve delete. Put a new pedestal in it. Cleaned up all my stuff. Figured once I was in here, I uh. I took all the aluminum foil that they put on this downpipe right there. It, uh, it's just on there to reduce sound. Um, took all that off and got a little carried away with the paint, I guess. Seen a couple trucks online that looked like that. I figured I'd do mine too. But she's all back together and we'll see how she runs.